Persecution at Tatsunokuchi. Shio Kingo Dono Go Shusoku. Letter to Shio Kingo. I cannot adequately express my gratitude for your frequent letters. At the time of my persecution on the 12th of last month, you not only accompanied me to Tatsunokuchi but declared that you would die by my side. I was deeply moved. How many are the places where I died in past existences for the sake of my family, lands and kin? I have given up my life on mountains, seas and rivers, on the seashore and by the roadside, but never once did I die for the Lotus Sutra or suffer persecution for the Daimoku. Hence none of the ends I met enabled me to reach enlightenment. Because I did not attain Buddhahood, the seas and rivers where I died are not the Buddha's land. In this life, however, as the votary of the Lotus Sutra, I was exiled and almost put to death exiled to Ito and nearly beheaded at Tatsunokuchi. Tatsunokuchi in Sagami province is the place where Nichiren gave his life. Because he died there for the Lotus Sutra, how could it be anything less than the Buddha land? A passage from the Sutra reads, In all the Buddha lands of the universe there is but one supreme vehicle. Doesn't this bear out my assertion? The one supreme vehicle is the Lotus Sutra. There is no true teaching other than the Lotus Sutra in any of the Buddha lands throughout the universe. The Buddha's provisional teachings are excluded, as the Sutra explains elsewhere. This being so, then every place where Nichiren meets persecution is the Buddha land. Of all the places in this world, it is at Tatsunokuchi in Kates of Sagami province where Nichiren's life dwells. Because he gave his life there for the sake of the Lotus Sutra, Tatsunokuchi may well be called the Buddha land. This principle is found in the Jinriki chapter, where it states, whether in a grove, in a garden, on a mountain, in a valley or in a broad field, dot the Buddhas enter nirvana. You accompanied Nichiren, vowing to give your life as a votary of the Lotus Sutra. Your deed is infinitely greater than that of Hung Yen, who tore open his stomach and inserted the liver of his dead lord, Duke Yi, to save him from shame and dishonor. When I reach Eagle Peak, I will first tell how Shio Kingo, like Nichiren, resolved to die for the Lotus Sutra. Secretly I learned that I am to be exiled to Sado by order of Regent Hojo. Of the three heavenly gods, the god of the moon saved my life at Tatsunokuchi by appearing as a shining object, and the god of the stars descended four or five days ago to greet me. Now only the god of the sun remains, and he is certain to protect me. How reassuring! The Hasi chapter states, the Buddha, will send gods in various guises to protect the votary of the Lotus Sutra. This passage leaves no room for doubt. The Anrakugyo chapter reads, neither swords nor staves will harm him. The Fuman chapter states, the sword will instantly be broken into pieces. There is nothing false in these quotations. Strong and steadfast faith is the vital thing. With my deep respect, Nichiren. The 21st day of the ninth month in the 8th year of Bunei, 1271. Background. On September 21, 1271, only nine days after the Tatsunokuchi persecution, Nichiren Daishonin wrote this letter to Shio Kingo, who had accompanied him to the execution site prepared to die alongside his master. The Daishonin was 50 at the time and was being detained at Homa Rokurozeman's residence in Echi, north of Tatsunokuchi, while the government pondered what action to take regarding him. This was the first extant letter he wrote following the persecution. The Daishonin expressed his profound admiration of Shio Kingo who vowed to die a martyr's death beside his master. To his most faithful disciple the Daishonin reveals something about his true identity, which he later described in The Opening of the Eyes, also given to Shio Kingo. Here he states, Tatsunokuchi in Sagami province is the place where Nichiren gave his life. Because he died there for the Lotus Sutra, how could it be anything less than the Buddha's land? Why is it that the Daishonin states, he died, when in fact he survived the attempted execution? The opening of the eyes gives further details when it says, a person named Nichiren was beheaded in the middle of the night on the twelfth day of the ninth month last year, 1271, but his soul reached Sado Island. This certainly does not mean that his soul departed from his body at the moment of his death. The Daishonin implies that the common mortal called Nichiren died at Tatsunokuchi, but that the original Buddha Nichiren reached Sado Island in order to fulfill his mission. The persecution at Tatsunokuchi, 
states that the Buddha land is not a specific location where everyone dwells in a blissful state of heightened understanding. According to the principle that the individual and his environment are inseparable, anywhere one dedicates his life to upholding the supreme law of Buddhism as the Buddha land. Here it may seem that the believer is being urged to die for the Lotus Sutra. But that is not the intention. As he states, every place where Nichiren meets persecution is the Buddha land. Overcoming difficulties through Buddhist practice develops an individual's Buddha nature. We can safely say that dedicating one's life to the Gohanzen means devoting his time and effort to worshipping the Gohanzen, studying the Daishonin's teachings, and encouraging the faith of others. The Daishonin states that Shio Kingo, because of his devoted actions, has already created the causes that will lead to enlightenment. This is implied by the statement that the Daishonin will report Kingo's dedication when he reaches Eagle Peak. Finally, this Gosho explains that the Buddhist gods will surely protect those who seriously carry out the practice of Buddhism. Nichiren Daishonin expresses his joy and confidence in this certain knowledge.